Welcome, 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 welcome to the Welcome Town. I'm Mr. Welcome, and this is my co-host, Mr. Welcome. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Mitten music in the house. Yes, right. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I need to make that a button. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Okay. What's up? What a year. Yeah, for sure. This has been another good year for the Mitten music. The year two. We made it two years. It's unbelievable. I was thinking, I was actually thinking before we started recording, we kind of talked a little about, let's talk about the recap of the year. And the first interview you had this year seems so long ago, but I remembered it very vividly. We were downtown in your old office where you used to work. Uh, and we did uh, the Kings of Strings. Remember that? Yeah. When you said my old office, I almost thought two jabs ago. But that was a long time ago. Yeah, we we got we got uh, tightly packed in that conference room. We thought we would have had more room, but we went there because we're like, oh, we're gonna have plenty of room here. We packed well, that thing. We wouldn't have been able to do it here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was it was a, that was a packed room. That was a riot. And then that was cool that we got to just go down one mile down the road and go watch them play. Yeah, you get to see them. Yeah, I have, I, oh yeah, that's I, right. I haven't yeah, seen them yet. Yeah, that's right. You couldn't. Get, yeah, that was cool. That's been my goal is to try to see everyone we interview it live in concert. And I'm probably 75% there, but. Oh, man. I'm probably like. Pfft. There's been several I haven't seen. Yeah. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Get some Make me feel bad. We cut. Cut this out. 2024, you got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, fair enough. I like it. Yeah, Challenge accepted. Go. Oh, so, man. Yeah, from there, we, we interviewed a lot of bands this year. You remember? You remember all the ones? None of them, really. Really? I'm you don't even joking. remember the ones like what was your two weeks ago? Oh, I know I do. What was your favorite? I'm, I, oh. Well, that's a loaded question. That's right. You can't you can't say it. You can't say a favorite because they all listen to every episode. So they're well, they like, were all unique. I mean, different different types of interviews. The Tomb Stunner one, we had a lot of. Oh man, that was there's there a lot of off the rails in that conversation. Hmm. Even off off air, I remember. Mr. Denton on Doomsday. That was good. Yep. That was a yeah. That was a fun. That was fun and emotional. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Il I, you know, people have different illnesses or dispositions or whatever. You never know what someone has or what someone's dealing with. Right. It's crazy. Yeah. Go listen to that episode if no if you don't know what I'm talking about, people. Well, and if you want to take it on that trend, we talked to. Jacob from the American Hotel System, he had mm -hmm. a heck of a lot. He had a million stories to tell, and a lot of that was, heck, you know, I don't think we released that part of this. Maybe we do that in 2024. There, okay. there was so much content. <laughs> Three episodes worth? Four episodes. Yeah, we only did two episodes so far. There was one more in the can, and that's the one where he, he smacked his head, and he had that's right. superpowers after. That's right. Yeah. That was <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Taking the trip over to the east side, which that was all that was recently too. Yeah. Still fresh in the mind. Yeah, there'll that be was, a lot of that'll be in 2024. That, that yeah, that was a fun trip. Uh but man, what there's so many. There's a couple that I'm like, oh man. Like, wait a second. Patty was last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Cause that was I remember that being a fun. But yeah, that was like everything was still new to us too. It, yeah. Like we're like, we can't believe someone actually showed up. I can't believe this is like the fourth person in a row to show up. Yeah, now we now I've seen people in different places and now you know recognize us and talk talk to them and um, yeah, and we've done a lot more things like like today we're trying out three cameras. Yeah, something different. Oh, show. So that's different. We've added some video. We're we've trying uh, to be influencers, <laughs> music influencers in Michigan. That's right. Just joking. Let's go with the Michigan music, man. Yes. Right. But yeah. Oh, man. In, in the last month, I was thinking about the interviews we did this year. And I, you're going to have to give me a, a minute or two. Because there's two or three that like really rose to the top. And I'll just say, I'll list like five. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I can't even do it. Because I, I, I'm going to want to stop talking and think about it. So never mind. We'll skip it. Because you're right. I can't just say a handful or... 
It was good times, though. It was. I saw a lot of good shows this year and uh, as well. So, Have you seen any since the last time we chatted? Um, I, I don't believe I mean, unless local piano recitals count. Local not. I am going to be seeing Flylight Gemini and Overdrive Orchestra this Friday. I'm seeing May Earlwine this Thursday. So a lot going on this week. Um, but I haven't seen them yet. I think the last show I saw that was a live band was... Oh, it was the American Hotel System. Uh, that Yeah, that's right. I wasn't able to go to that one. I don't think low right. phase and low bedroom phase. ceilings open for them. Um, I was actually impressed. Low phase stuck out to me. I mean, the American Hotel System did a great job. Uh, but the underdog, or the one, you know, I wasn't expecting. I didn't know. Low phase, I thought, did a great job performing. Um, so they kind of caught my eye. Cool. Yeah, for sure. You? Oh, man. Favorite interviews? What? Whoa. No, no. What was the last show? Uh, oh. Anything recent? No, the Odd Space one was the last one. Okay, that, that was at Speciation. Uh, so. Yes, yes. Speciation. No, I saw him at the Pyramid Scheme. Oh, that's right. Yeah. He, he's, yeah. he was at Speciation, but you couldn't make that yeah, one, I think. That was another time, yep. So I was like really glad that like two weeks later or three weeks later, I was like, whoa, he's playing at the intersection. What? That was sweet. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. But yeah, uh, unless kids' piano recitals count, no. I haven't okay. seen. Oh, I don't think I have. No? All right. No. No, but it's that time of year. Busy, busy, busy. That's right. It definitely is. Thanksgiving and New Year's. Well, the New Year, you got some chances to see some new shows. Actually, one, one of the bands that we interviewed uh, somewhat early in the year is actually playing at the end of January in Transient. Yes, that's right. At Mul- no, it wasn't Mullet. No, it's it was not somewhere. Mulligans. It was a different place. Um, and I don't think it's the scheme, but it was somewhere else, yeah. We will get that on our website or on our... We'll yeah, share we'll information about that on social media or something. Yeah, definitely. So thinking about the end of the year, um, you know, I, it was funny. I don't know if you, I don't know if you got the Spotify wrapped, like the day there it happened go. or, you know. But there was yeah. a day on social media, and, and I never... I don't think last year I was as connected with all these bands that, or that we were, but on social media, like for two days in a row, it was like boom, 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 post about yeah, how they're everybody Spotify. wants to share it. Yep. Yeah, it was pretty kind of cool. I mean, uh, it is a cool thing that they do, kind of wrap up, give you a quick summary of what you did mm-hmm. as a listener, as a band, as a podcaster, any of that stuff. Um, so what was your what was your Spotify Wrapped look like? Do you remember what's like your top five songs? Well, I remember or? what the year before looked like. I mean, I guess I could cheat and just pull it up. So the year before, my number one song was Tool Invincible. Mm, okay, yeah, and that was probably because you went to Tool in yeah. twenty twenty two. That was the that was yeah that was uh, yeah that year I had seen them, but I saw them at the beginning like at the beginning. Well, we saw you saw one. Yeah, there? I saw the yeah. beginning of the year. Yep. So I had that whole yeah. year I was listening to that album. Uh, but this year, my number one song was Jawbreaker by Chevelle. Okay. And my number two song was Choking Game by Chevelle. <laughs> Chevelle rises to the top. No surprise. And they it, they're, it's not even their latest album. <laughs> it's an it's yeah. A, Right. Their second old, like it was an album that I never really listened to, and it came out, and I heard a, a couple songs. I was like, yeah, so whatever. I kind of skipped over it. Yeah. But after their last album came out, and I loved it, and I listened to the heck out of it. I I wouldn't say I got bored of it, but I was listening to all their albums, and I was like, man, I really don't know much about this album. And sure enough, there's like the, half the album is awesome, and two songs just I play them like every day, but like my kids know them, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all that stuff. Right. Yeah. Um. I can tell you more than that. Those are the two. Those are the two off the top of my head. Where the heck? And I'm kind of on the same boat with like how your tool was uh, two years ago. Mm-hmm. Metallica, their new album was high on my list a lot. A lot. There was a lot of songs on the top of my of my wrapped because I went and saw them this year, so I was mm-hmm. focused in on that. But I was pretty surprised, and I think part of it's just because of the bands we're interviewing stuff. But I had really a lot of. Michigan music. Yeah, I'm not top, surprised. My top 100. I had 17, I counted them, 17 artists and probably 30 songs that were Michigan. Dang. In, now, number one of the ones that I think rose into my top five was Odd Space. 
Wow, Mainly really? because, so that type of music, so that and like a radio header, like my two go-tos, and Pink Sky was up there too, mm. because when I'm working and I need to focus some, on something, I like to have that type of music yeah, playing. That, I like, I like, it's not I too that. much singing, not too much, mm-hmm. um, a little, it's, it's a little bit lower. Abstract. Yeah, right. And it helps me focus. So I had, that's why I think those were up on top of my list. Where the heck is freaking Spotify? Do they like take it you off? You just got to do a search for it. Oh, give me up. I got to, why is it just not on well, the I think top it only stays maybe. up there unless you start using it uh, as one of your mixes for your top songs. There you go. And they have a playlist too, so that's what I did. I just, I just went to the playlist. Yeah, that's your top songs. Yeah, there you go. Oh, cool. Uh, <laughs> whoa, number three was the uh, theme song to White Lotus season two. <laughs> that's hilarious. Got some Tool up there. I see. Tool, the patient number four. Tool, Invincible number five. Everything's ruined. Faith no more number six. In Island, Chevelle number seven. Never forever by Dead Soft. You know that song? I do not. That song, they're not a Michigan band, so I don't think any of the ones that you named. Were. Yeah, I fair enough, but I, I'm not. Yeah, no, talking I'm just, about that. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, I've never heard of Dead. Song. No, they're like a nobody band. Like I found them off the show Letter Kenny. You ever? Oh, seen I've seen. I've seen like two episodes, and then yeah, I gave up. Did I tell you? That's how I like. I started. Everybody or not everybody. People kept telling me the show so good, show so good. Yeah, so yeah. finally one night, I just I watched two episodes. I go, this is so dumb. What the heck? Yeah. What is... I don't get it. So I put it away for like a year, and I kept hearing about it. So I go, I'm just going to start it again. I got like five episodes in, and I was like, this show is awesome. Anyways, it was like the intro to one of the episodes or the outro or something, and it fit perfectly. They have a lot of like weird hip-hop and rock music as like throughout the stuff. It's... It's awesome. I actually have been listening to the playlist of all the songs from. Oh yeah, all, there's like eleven seasons or something like that. Oh, that's cool. It's pretty. Like if you get into it, like if you once you get the sense of humor, that show is freaking hilarious. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh yeah, self Jin Steven, Chicago, Tool the Grudge, So Long Mother Earth, Chevelle. Yeah, cool. What the? Oh, uh, here's Halsey. So good. <laughs> uh, that's from. Oh, there's a hold on tight in the valley below, number there seventeen. Go. There you go. Odd space number eighteen. But uh Halsey, I don't ever I've n I don't listen to that at all, but my kids also on one of the devices. Oh, I'm it's logged in as me and they'll play it on there. So I'm looking I think I see a couple other it's songs. Gonna, it's that, gonna skew your mixes now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it must have been just that one. I think I put it I think I saw that and put it into it. <laughs> Or I noticed it and put an end to it at one point earlier this year. It must have been a beginning of the year or something. Yeah. Or maybe it was lit. Eh, whatever. I don't know. So yeah, yeah wrapped. Cool. Wrapped. You know, it's funny. They. I think we talked about this last year at the end of the year, but um, my wrap this year again, in my and once again, it's based on some of the bands, but still had a genre called Grand Rapids Indie. Ah, <laughs> nice. I'm like, it doesn't make any sense. You get it? No. City based embrace. genre. We gotta embrace it. The G Rap. They gotta at least come up with a name of it or the something. The G Rap vibe, man. Well, they, got the G Rap like vibe. Seattle, right? Grunge was born out of there. Why don't they come up with actually a new name for something if it's gonna come out of a city? I don't know. Can you come up with any new names for genres besides I don't know. something that already I'm exists? Sure come up with something. They keep coming up with something crazy. I always hear some new rock term like fizzy rock. Fizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just popped in my head. Fizzy but did you th- wasn't there like something like that, like fuzz rock or something weird? Yeah, I mean fuzz is like a that's a distortion pedal yeah, sound yeah. for guitars, fuzz uh distortion or whatever. So yeah, yeah. fuzz gets in there a lot. I don't know. <laughs> Come up with something new. Oh, yeah. Uh just to label people, label bands, label them. Well yeah, if they're not if they're not labeled, then how you can find them? What why why did we need to label everyone? <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm just joking. I know. Uh, what was I gonna? Do? What would oh, you, yeah. oh. Well, didn't you ask me what G rap would sound like? No, or was I thinking that question? What? What would G rap sound like? I don't know. Yeah, think about it. G rap, Grand Rap. That we should start asking ba- pop interviewees. In, in interviews. The first question is: If Grand Rapids or G rap was a music genre, what would it sound like? Oh, that is a beautiful question. That is interesting. That is a good one. Yeah. Thanks to you. I never would have thought of that. There you go. I I sparked your 
it, uh, imagination and innovation. You lit my fire. That's right. Anyway, sorry, you were saying <laughs> what were you saying? Well, so it's interesting. So I'm, I thought it was kind of ironic. So all these bands, right? They post the Spotify rap, they're, and they're they're shouting out really to their fans. They're saying thanks for listening, right? So then I was then I saw a few posts, kind of, you know, talking about how the fact that Spotify doesn't really pay per per play mm. per spin. Um, Which we've all, we've all heard before. Yeah. Right? It's not much. But somebody but. made a post. Now, I don't know. I didn't get a chance to fact check this, but I, I do know that I think the current rate is like 0. 0.0002 something or something or other. So it's much less than a cent a play. But somebody mentioned on one of their posts saying, next year, that is going to change and it's going to be based, I think it's based on volume. So you won't even get paid, I don't think, unless you hit a certain threshold. Yeah, I, yeah, I did hear that. Um, and I want to say the threshold is like three times. So anyway, so Spotify only pays like point zero 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 two something. Mm. And then I don't know what Apple's is. I think it's a little better, but it's not like mm. great. But yeah, somebody said that they're going to do away with like you have to hit a certain threshold. I think YouTube's like that now. Like you can't start monetizing till you get to a certain mm. level. So I think they're going to that model, which means the small guys are going to not get like anything. Mm -hmm. And then I think it was my son was just telling me the other day, Snoop Dogg, one of his songs, I told you. Oh, it was you? Yeah, it was that <laughs> It was last night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah what's the deal? So I read I read something and again I'm if I get a little bit wrong, sorry. Um <laughs> He said something about out of some song he has had a billion streams. And he said, guess how much I got paid for a billion streams of the song. And now I don't know if this is like, it takes a while to get a billion streams, right? So oh, yeah, my guess right. is one of his older songs that, you know, right. Has was already out when, when he got put on Spotify is my guess. Um, $45,000 for 1 billion streams. That's crazy. That, that is I mean, yeah, probably. It probably if we did the math, probably went out, came out to a number close to what you were saying. But geez, one yeah. bill, forty thousand, forty five grand off one billion. Right. And depending on how their model was when they first started playing that song, it might have been better rate. So now mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. probably taking them, it's going to take anybody longer. Yeah, it's really crazy. Um, but then, so I was looking at different streaming services. There is one out there that pays. I think it's. Like one cent, close, it's just over one cent per spin. It's called Title. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah, of it. it's Jay Z, and there's a bunch of artists that own it together. Jay Z started okay. it. Yeah, so they're paying at least something. You're actually get, and, if you get a track played, you actually get a cent. Like you and know, and you get the consumer gets flack versions of the audio files, so the highest quality version. Oh, really? Which other? I don't think any other streaming service offers that. There's high quality, but it's not the quality of what. Well, I would thought Apple would do that because they have I, their special format, right? Actually, now that you say it, I also they did something with Apple Music this last year about the quality of streaming options, but I I don't I don't think it's still this the quality as good. Type yeah, is. interesting. It's gonna be, it would be close, but yeah, isn't that funny? Yeah. Have you ever like tested it out or played around with it? When it first came out, I did. Yeah. Yeah, I signed up for a free trial. I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. I had just started paying for Spotify at the time, I think, when it came out. Or I had already been, so I was like, well, I don't care. Yeah. It was more expensive, too. It was like 20 bucks a month. Yeah, it's more. But ago or if you think about it, mm, if mm -hmm. you think about that, like, okay, it's like, let's say it's five, ten bucks more. That It's actually going, I mean, that's why they're charging that much. Yeah. Because they're actually going to pay a little more. I'm just the... Uh, yeah, I know. The the average voice. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. It's definitely more. It's still there. It still exists. It didn't they didn't close it up. I mean, I went into their free service, which I mean, yeah, you can do your free. It's it's interesting. You, you change any type of platform, it's different. Mm, and so sure. you have to get used to it, try to figure out how it works. Yeah. What's the feel? When did you do this? Recently? Yeah, within the last few weeks. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So. I would actually maybe I should try it again just to see what's changed since way back then 
Yeah. I'm well, sure then, it's a lot better. I'm sure the app's a lot better because I remember it not being a big fan of it at all. Oh, really? And yeah. they didn't have a huge music selection either. Well, that's what I haven't. I haven't taken enough time to dig into to see if they've got. But I mean, a lot of a lot of bands that we have talked to, they're on there. I mean, I've done that, and I look at them. At, I just the part I was kind of lost on is it doesn't really like Spotify does a better job, I think, pushing stuff to you, and I don't so much title you have to actually search around i mean it just the interface all, was a little i was a little all the lost. playlists and all the ways you can connect with different this that and the other thing within the spotify right. app is pretty yeah. dang good yeah it's legit definitely i was thinking though we could probably take the playlists that we've been creating and put them in spot a t- title because it's free oh and then at least if people play it in our Big browser green. put it in our browser right they're they're getting a they're getting one cent a play i like it you should do that. Support them. We're not sponsored by Spotify. They didn't Absolutely give us not. $100 million for this show. Absolutely not. So we can do whatever we want. Title, you're hitting the website. The big wave. Yes. <laughs> I like it. That's a great idea. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? Um, True that. So. Do they have podcasts on Title? I don't know. I didn't look. Hmm. I mean, I, I will. I will say that Spotify has definitely, probably, taken over the market for. Yeah, they probably have the sure. highest market on the streaming music and definitely on the podcast. Yeah, yep. And because Apple, I don't know. I mean, I I haven't used their. I don't even know what they call it anymore. It's not iTunes. Apple Music. Yeah, just it, the app, like the app is called Apple Music and the subscription is called Apple Music. But their podcast is a separate app. Yeah. I don't know if they merged them now or not, uh, but I don't think no, so. No, I think it's a separate one. I, I can't. Yeah, yeah. I never, I never liked using any, any of that stuff, so I just always use Spotify. Yeah, I mean the only it was that- lame that I remember when they split the app out, like the podcast, into its own app. I just don't know if it's gone back in yet, again or not. I mean, I know they're separate still, but I don't. Know okay, if they then merged anything into the. Apple Music. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Mm. It's just the only reason I used it back in the day was just because when I when I had music on my phone, you'd mm-hmm. play it, you'd store or you upload it to Apple Music, iTunes. Yeah, yeah, Blue, exactly. iTunes and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I still yeah. own some music somewhere. Digital. It's probably on Apple Music. There's I only ever bought a few songs on iTunes. Really? And I'm pretty sure when Apple Music came out, they did translate over in my account into that. So I saw, like, uh, what the heck was one of them? It was like some Depeche Mode song. I don't remember which one. I like accidentally bought it. Uh, I think they were all accidentally bought, like five songs. So it's like, these are the five songs I have in my iTunes that I purchased. And then I, I would always rip my CDs and, to MP3s and put them in, on my computer. Well, I did that too, but then I put them in, I did put them on iTunes. Because you could upload all that music, and so I ended up doing that at one time, so I could have. Oh it, yeah, so yeah, I could yeah. Have it yes. on my phone. Yeah, yeah, yep. And then I played. Around I remember with, dealing with that, but they kept changing things, so it got right. weird. Yeah, right. So I'm like, whatever. Okay. And then I tried this, and this was right before, I don't know, a few months before I didn't just ended up doing Spotify, but Cloud. I think it was called Cloud Beats. Hmm. You basically off your computer. You could connect your library to Cloud Beats through like OneDrive or whatever, and then it would you could stream Ooh. from there. But it was kind of a clunky deal, and there was a point when I like it wouldn't play. I don't know. It's like the computer had to be freaking on or something. It was weird. Interesting. But you would be playing it off like your phone through the app. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Like it's a. Rem- just like you know, you can remote into another computer with like through Chrome. You can browse your desktop right. if you have it enabled on your a computer somewhere else. Yeah, and you can remote into it, kind of like a similar thing, but you're just passing through the the files. Right. But, Interesting. Yeah, that's a cool. That's but cool. Eh, just it was too much. It didn't work out as well. Mm. It wasn't as smooth. So I said, forget it. Now I can play whatever I want whenever I want. It's kind of my thought. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, I like it. Did you ever watch the show Sil- Silicon Valley? I have not. No. The premise of the show is these guys start this business because one of them created this way to compress either video or audio files. I think, or maybe it was both. I think it was audio files. 
and then we're gonna move to video compress it so small that you could like just streaming like you could just download like stream the stuff no problem it, like just file sizes shrunk to nothing and it was proprietary so the whole show is about them creating this business and you know, going down all that but it's funny that kind of yeah. translate to this a little That's bit interesting yeah but i couldn't remember the name of the company or i was going to make a joke i remember the enemy company was called hooli they were like google hooli h-o-o-l-i <laughs> And then the the guys of their show, their name, I forget their, oh, Pied Piper was their name. <laughs> Pied Piper. <laughs> Whatever. If you haven't seen it, maybe, check it out. Maybe too. someday we'll have that, where it'll be that. I'm sure mm-hmm. it will be. It'll be so, mm-hmm. I mean, think about 20 years ago. You, Oof. Yeah, right. Freaking one megabyte five. <laughs> you buy a new computer with five megs of RAM, <laughs> 10 megs of RAM. <laughs> 32 Crazy. gig hard drive. Yeah, it was a big deal. Woo. Man, I'm going to be able to play some good graphic games. Yeah, this. right. That's yeah, crazy. Good uh, graphical text based games. <laughs> no, they had Minesweeper and Pong. And, well, Pong was Atari, but. No. Pong was an Atari? Pong came out on the Atari, right? Maybe Atari owned it, but it was its own thing. It was one device. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. right. They probably licensed it as a game for Atari is probably what happened. Yeah, I know yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yep. I remember that was the wow. first video game and my grandma had. Really? <laughs> when we go to my grandma's house and she had, it was just, yeah, it was just this big box. Like, you know, it was like an Atari. And that's all you could play is Pong. Cool. I think we played it like twice, three, three times. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, go. yeah, <laughs> not very money. Great game, grandma. <laughs> Boom. And then we probably got Boop. the Atari soon after that. It was like, Boop. why would we play this? <laughs> why would we play the real thing when we would just play it on Atari? We were more interested in watching cable there because we didn't have cable at the oh. time. Because we lived out in BFE and and so couldn't get it. Yeah, and I think I think it was that, and the, my parents weren't willing to pay the cost for it at the time. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if we go to my grandma's, like, oh yeah, we're <laughs> watching cable. Nice. Yeah. So. Cool. What else, man? Oh, nothing, not much of anything. Like I said, it's busy time of the year, so it's not a whole lot of extra time to do fun stuff. I was kind of surprised we get we're able to get this tonight. Yeah, this going. Good. We're after this chat, we have another interview, and we get a we get a that is the one stash thing. of interviews now. Twenty twenty four, we've got a lot going, a lot of interviews to pump out. We got what four or five in the can. Hmm. I was supposed to have one ready to release tomorrow. Well, I have one. So. I know that's it, but luckily you do. <laughs> I could, I, I mean, I could do it, but I don't know if I want to. No. Yeah, but I'll have it done for next. Well, yeah, January well, come out. You got some time. Faux show. Just don't drag your feet. I won't. I actually, I'll just, I'll get ahead Knocked and out, try yeah. to do whatever. I'll one day I'll get all the, the rest of them we have waiting. Yeah. Now out. that we got some video editing to play with. Adds a little more complexity. Yeah. I guess we could have been looking at our phones if we can still like, see each other's faces the whole time. I wonder if it's going to look weird. Because <laughs> we've been looking yeah. at each other like this. I was thinking about that too. Maybe maybe it won't be that big. But it's more, I don't know if it's more natural to look. We probably shouldn't have them like directly. They should, probably should be moved back a little bit so we can. I'd rather look at your like in person. Yeah, for sure. No, I agree. I agree. That's very distracting, but. At least it's not like a huge, you know, you go to a, anytime I've gone to an arena or something, right? You can't not get your face away from the the screen. Like, yeah, that's. I went to the Dallas Cowboys Stadium in Texas. This was years, a few years back. Uh, my alma mater, Western Michigan, was playing there. So that's why I went. And we were actually in the lower bowl. And the screen was so massive, like I couldn't. It was in my peripheral. I still could see it, and it was just distracting enough that, I, like, I kept drawing my attention to go look at. It. I'm like, I can see what's going on. In That's the field. isn't that hilarious? I'm like, this is ridiculous. That's I want to like watch it live, and I can't get away from the. the <laughs> but Good stuff. Could, yeah, give us some feedback, people. Do you want us to stare at you right, right yeah. in the camera? Give you some good eye contact. <laughs> well, we gotta we gotta wrap this up, dude. We do. It's wrapped. It's a wrap. It's it's a twenty twenty four wrapped. It's in the can. There's the title of that episode right there. That's right. I know. Booyah, babies! Out.
If you enjoyed this episode, check out more episodes on any streaming service out there today, as well as our website, www.themittenmusic.com. You can also find playlists and concert listings there, too. Check us out on social media, uh, Facebook and Instagram. 